Mars is the sake of common understanding of the placeholders kept for stakeholders in the juvenile trafficking machine in Clint, but not limited to. Each person speaking case law and legalese that surround you, and also the person judging both person and judging should be used for the sake of common understanding of the placeholders. Need a warrant. Cause me to break that door, you're gonna go to jail. Open it up and talk to this. We don't have the right to an attorney. And that window doesn't reach that door. That's I don't think so. I think that I don't think so. I couldn't tell. I she scared those kids to death. I know. Poor kids. And I'm like, you, hello? If you if you really are trying to protect your children, she's grabbing them and running. Yeah. And they're scared to death. And they're trying to come over here. Yeah. I didn't even want to I'm too busy. By the way, does she have to pick him up and stand, set him up too? Uh, What's the height? Um, he's tiny. Um, so we're wanting to get an order and she wants to, so we can take them to the justice center. Like, like Have to have orders for, to tell you yeah, yeah, not to bring you trying to let us even the law enforcement. Yeah. She's telling them no, and he's telling her you don't go to jail. But the door's gonna get busy. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Matt said no, he's not giving a verbal leave because of the affidavit. But I'm like, if we, if we, if we, if we, you know, something may happen. Like now, if we had a verbal order, they would be able to knock the door down and get the kids out. But because we don't have a <laughs> He says that judge is going to yell at you. How are you going to call me out and not call anyone else out? The time. Oh, yeah. That was calling me out. And I told you, it was. 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 It her bag is not looking. It's COVID. There's kids in there trying to watch four tools right now. Okay. There wasn't ever any physical abuse of the kids, right? Huh? There wasn't any physical abuse. No physical of the okay. okay. I just was trying to, you know what I mean? I don't want to be upset and go in there and do something ridiculous. Okay. Um, there were people that saw the kids and would bring food over here to the house for the kids. And then when they tried uh, Well, there's going to have to be more than a meal. Uh, uh, deprivation of rights. Was violated. Amendments one, four, five, nine, fourteen were violated. Um, they kidnapped my child. When I tell you, they kidnapped my child. They straight up kidnapped my child. I was incarcerated. Okay. Did you, did you make this report? Did you make a report with this, like last week or something? Yes, ma'am. Um, I did. Okay. Are you waiting for them to respond back to you? Uh, yes, ma'am. Well, that and uh, about the abuse that my daughter. Uh, Occurred while she was in custody. Okay, did you did you uh, report that to last week? I I did. They've already assessed everything you said about the black eye and the bruise on her chin, and there was no blood in her pants. They say. Um, how can they say that when there was pictures? They say that they discussed this in open court during the TPR hearing as well. So it's already been, it was discussed in front of a judge? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You can pull the transcripts. I can't pull the transcript, ma'am. It's not court. Right, but I'm just letting you know I, it was not discussed in front of court. And I actually want to speak to the social worker or supervisor um, to see if I can get her files um, for her case so that way I can have okay, them. They're, they're, okay, they're not going to really talk to you about this case, Ms. Edwards, because your rights were terminated. Uh, well, yes, ma'am, I do understand that, but my rights were not uh, terminated at, to the point to where they cannot give me the paperwork on my daughter. But she 
she's not your daughter because your rights are terminated. Yeah. She's not. Uh, I don't know, ma'am. So. That's probably why. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. Um, I'm just telling you, the, you know, the, the facts. But ma'am, you, ma'am, you're not telling you me facts. You're not telling me facts. Okay, well, okay, I ma'am. I can be cut out. I can be cut out. Okay. Oh, well, you know, legally, legally, because your rights have been terminated. So are you, are you acting as pro se for yourself, or do you have to be I'm a pro Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do they know that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, see, I tried to talk to uh, Miss Bankston, and she wouldn't even speak to me. She wouldn't even hear me out. I went in there. I turned my kids in. I said, they told you to leave the building. Yes. Yeah. Or they told okay, they to help you. They didn't give me a chance or an opportunity to even talk to me to figure out what it was that I was needing. Okay, that's what well, you probably have to start with with silence from the court system before they'll even give them to you. They're just gonna give them to you. You probably don't have to say no. That that's the thing. Regardless if my rights were terminated or not, I am still entitled to that paperwork. How is a person supposed to fight for themselves and their children if they can't even get the paperwork? For the court system to get it. New needle warrants. Don't cause me to break that door, you're gonna go to jail. Open it up and talk to them.